A wise man once said, and I quote, If you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. And how can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? <laughs> if you've never heard that quote, you're either too old or you grew up weird. Weird. Everybody knows who said that. But I'm going to let you research it. But you could interpret that many ways, right? If, 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 if you don't, if you don't make the dough, you can't have biscuits. You've got to do the work to get your biscuits. Why is, why is, why is my headphones beeping at me? You know, I put this stuff in a drawer for two months. And then I got to figure out which cord goes to this, which cord goes to that. This microphone stand all of a sudden doesn't want to move. I take better care of my stuff than that, but yet here I am. It's messing up and I don't want to touch nothing. It took me forever to figure all this out again. So this thing better record. So it's been a while, but we're back. Because this channel has nothing to do with what's going on on the other channel. Not really. I mean, I could I could get mean on this channel and, you know, nobody's going to know it was me on the other channel, right? Ah. So anyway, nothing planned for this morning, just a getting on here. I, I just got my coffee out of my new microwave. That's right. And I'm going to tell you what happened with that microwave. I bought it about seven years ago. Uh doesn't really matter the name of the brand. It was a Magic Chef. But they're all made in the same, you know, they're all made over there. Well, I went to wipe it out. You know, I, I, I'm bad about that. You know, I may go a while before I wipe out my microwave. But I had put something in there that just cuss-boomed and splattered all over the top. And I didn't have a choice. Because I didn't want that stuff dripping down into my coffee. That's how I heat up my water in the morning. So I get in there with some hot soapy water, you know, on a sponge, and I'm, I get it real wet, and I go all over the whole thing, let it soak. And that's what smart people do. You let you let the water do the work, and you come back in a few minutes, and you wipe it out, and it's easy peasy, right? So I'm wiping, and I'm up on the top, and I feel, it doesn't feel right. It's like, there's no way something's caked on this bad, so I'm picking at it with my finger. And off breaks a piece of the inner plastic that coats the whole inside of the microwave. And I look up in there, and there are several spots that had just broken off. Who knows if I ate them or not. So I immediately pulled that thing out of the, uh, unplugged it, cut the cord off of it. Because, you know, I can use a good cord like that. That's a good appliance cord. You don't want to just throw that out. And put it in the back of my truck, got on Amazon, and ordered a Toshiba. It was about $109. This thing don't make any noise at all. It's got a cool blue light in it. I just kept eating up some water. I wasn't using it just to see it. But it makes zero noise. Remember when microwaves first came out, how loud they were and giant? I mean, they were the size of, of, of ovens. Uh, now they're just the technology. But they put that element in there where you got to buy one. Now, that one lasted me seven years. You know, an older microwave would last you 25, 30 years. But... It's a throwaway world. They want you to buy more. Don't tell me they don't do that stuff on purpose. I know they do. And even though the microwave still worked fine, it had the plastic peeling off, and it was showing bare metal. And when they do, you know, you don't put metal in the microwave, so I didn't know if that's going to create a fire, no sense of taking a chance. Hey, I, I got my use out of that one, I guess. And basically anymore, all I use a microwave for is reheating. I, I've never cooked in one. Um, but this one I like, and it's a little bit bigger, uh, but 
man, I, I can't get over how silent it is. I mean, you just don't hear nothing out of it. It's like it's not even on. And there's a feature. Now, I live alone, so this feature doesn't matter. I do what I want, but it has a feature that you can make the whole, the keypad and everything silent. So you can get up in the middle of the night, you know, make, make a big old plate, put it in there. You're not going to wake anybody up. That's pretty cool. You know, why didn't they have that 25 years ago? Maybe they did. It was called a lighter. You just hold a lighter under your food. I don't know. So I think today is Amazon Prime Day. Yeah, if you're into that. Uh, I actually got on there yesterday. Now, you can get on Amazon every day and look at today's deals. And then you can scroll down on the left and you can pick things that are 50%, 70% off. And so they had some early specials. I found a few things on there that I didn't necessarily have to have, but the deals, you know, and there's, all right, what happened to my headphones? What happened? Okay. Microphone just quit working. I don't think I have the right cord, but it's, I just can't move much. Okay. Tomorrow I'll get this solved. Something just quit, so kind of had to splice this in there. But anyway, yeah, there's. I, I found some cameras. I know I need more security cameras. These were a good deal. Uh, they're wireless. I could use some wireless ones. Would like to have one in the new shop, and it comes with five. I think it's called Blink. Blink, blink, blink cameras. So I got five of those coming. Um, we'll see how those work, but they, you know, it's fairly inexpensive. Hey man, Sharpies, I got a dozen for six dollars and sixty-six cents. I know, bad number. Yeah, but uh, you know, with tax, it came to more than that, so I'm good. What else I get? I don't know. Oh, I got some of that, you know, that non-slip stuff. I actually got some, I don't know if you can see, back on that ramp that goes up into the bathroom back there, I got some of that because there was one time I went up to the bathroom and the floor, I, you know, I was in socks and I slipped. So I put those non-slip things on there and I'm actually, I got a big roll of it, pretty cheap. And that stuff is not real cheap. And I'm going to put a few more strips in there. And then I need some for the front steps and the new steps that I'm building for the new shop. And I did put up a video uh, last night on the Washita Mountain Living Channel showing you the new shop, where I'm at with that. Uh, I will not be putting up too many videos on that channel until my big video comes out. Don't know when that'll be. But I, I, you will under, you will understand once I got that video up. So hopefully, uh, you know, I had a couple months, almost. It, it's been almost two months since I put out a full video, and honestly, I've been doing this for so long, and it's been become part of my everyday routine, doing YouTube videos that I didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> So I immersed myself in going out there, working on the building. And I've been putting in some... I still can't put in the hours because I can't be on my feet that long at a time. But if I can get four or five hours a day, I'm good. And But doing the ceiling, that took me two weeks. Because you're working on ladders, step stools, and for some reason that just kills my back. And I've got bad feet, knees, so it's it takes a toll on your on your back and your you know, so it it went a little slower. Now I'm going to be doing workbenches, things like that, be on the floor, so I should be able to get it done a little quicker. But I'm I'm enjoying it, man. I am not in a race t to finish it. Uh, I've got a nice air conditioner in there. It's it's actually cooler in there than it is in my cabin. 
So I don't mind going out there and spending time. Uh, and actually, that air conditioner, I just run it on low. And it'll shut itself off. It'll it'll cool down, and it's so well insulated in there that it... it I've went out there four hours later after working, and it was still cool in there. because I, And I am so glad I put it back where the shade is. Uh, that really keeps it cool in there. But I'm glad I insulated it to the extent that I did. So we're going to resume these morning coffees. Uh, again, I won't promise every single day, but... We'll try to get several of them a week up. Uh, different topics. I know. I know. A lot of you don't like these podcast things, but that's the glory of it. You don't have to watch it. But if you want to, here I am. I'm not doing a lot on the other channel yet. Uh, I want to focus on getting that shop done, getting getting some of the smaller things around here, the kitchen finished. I do plan to rip out the kitchen, and eventually, yes, I want to... I'm still pondering this, okay? Financially, and do I want to do all the work about putting the addition on the cabin? I think it's something I'm still going to do. Uh, whether or not I want bedrooms in it, whatever, I don't know. But that's something, and it's not happening here in the, in the very near future, but it's something that's probably going to happen in the next year, I guess. I don't know. Or it may never happen. I changed my mind. And I have reasonings for that. Because <laughs> I do. All right, guys. We're going to keep this one short. I still, I think it went 15 minutes. But uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll get this. I lost a lot of subscribers by stopping the videos. And so, hey, whatever. It happens. We'll get them back. So make sure you like it, because the the Alpo rhythm's asleep with me. Yeah, it's it's not waking up. So we'll see how it does. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy trails.